Okay, I'm going to talk about a few different makes and models of GPS units that we have. Um, these are all Garmin units. And on our website, we have a uh, uh, download for folks to put different GPS maps onto their uh, and take them out in the field with them. So the uh, first one I'm going to talk about here is this is the navigation type unit. Um, this is the Garmin Nuvi. And very similar to the Garmin Nuvi is the, uh, this is the Garmin 78. Um, these are very similar in how they're, they have some newer technology with their micro SD cards and their ability to plug and play, which I'll explain what that means here shortly. The third one's a little bit older model. This is the Garmin 76C or CX series. Um, this takes a few more steps to load the base maps onto, but um, we do have a, every option out there on the website. So starting with the Game and Fish website, we're going to navigate to the map section. And then under the map section, there's a Garmin GPS maps link. When you click in here, you can read more detail on installation. Hopefully this video will help with some of that explanation. But um, this also talks about the different base maps that are out there from lakes, hunting units, lands, et cetera. Scrolling down, you can kind of see the, the different options for download. We have a uh, kind of a, a newer newer GPS unit capabilities and uh, getting back to some of the older ones. I'm going to talk about these first two and uh, the third ones for a model that we don't have here right now. So um, starting with the, uh, let's start with the uh, kind of the middle of the road type here. Um, this is called the compiled map set. This is the uh, Garmin GPS map 76 CX. And if you open up the back of this, you can see that they have a little micro SD card inside of them. This is going to be your external, external memory for you to store these maps onto. So we're essentially just going to copy and paste um, the information that we downloaded from our site. What you will need is an adapter for this. So there's an SD adapter card for this. And if you have a card reader, some, some laptops and desktops do have, a, do have this uh, internally so you can plug them in. Otherwise, a, a, a card reader should do the trick. So. Okay, as soon as you plug in the uh, card, you'll uh, see it makes the, the storage active here. And in this case, you can see your, your SD card and a Garmin directory. Um, basically, what we're going to do with these Garmin GPS units, they're very particular on the make and model. So some of them will require a uh, folder for, uh, with a specific name for you to store this file in. Uh, in, this, in this make and model, this one needs to have a folder name called Garmin. And if this is a blank uh, uh, micro SD card, simply just create a directory. By right click, go to new, folder, name a directory called Garmin. I just made an extra one because we already have one. Um, for the uh, this make and model, you can see we have a file in there. And for the sake of time, we already we pre-download these files. But I'm going to go back to the site and walk you through that. And essentially, what we're doing, we're going to go, again, this is the kind of the middle of the road type uh, uh, of a Garmin unit. We went to this little Get It button. And you can see we can download this file here. All these files, when you download them, they come in a zip format. What that basically is doing, it's um, in this case, it, we just, we're just loading one file, but in some of the other ones, we're, we're, we're throwing many files together. But if you look at this download, this is the actual downloaded file, and you can see inside of it is that uh, gmapsupp.img. Um, this is the type of file with the specific name that this Garmin device uh, needs to read. So we're basically going to copy that. Copy that and navigate back. This, again, this is from our download. We're going to navigate to that Garmin directory that, directory that we just created. Right click and hit paste. Obviously, I already have one there, so it's going to, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. And this may be the case if you're updating these maps annually when we, we push our updates. So just hit the uh, replace file and destination. You'll overwrite the existing map that's on your unit. And then for this make and model, we're done. We'll pop out the micro SD card, pop that back into the GPS. 
and you should be good to go with the new, with the new plots and lake information. So, um, Going to the next model we'll look at here, um, again the NUVI and the 78 model are very similar. They have more of this, uh, we don't need a micro SD card reader uh, adapter. So what we're going to do here is um, simply just going to plug this in. Now many of these come, these GPS units come with a USB cable. So just plug this cable into your device. And very similar to the micro SD card, you should hear that, uh, that uh, access to the storage become available. Now each of, the, each of these GPS units, they have their internal storage, but they also, uh, they also have what we, just, what we just used here with the micro SD card is ex expandable memory. So um, on this one, we're just going to, uh, we're going to open this device up. As you can see, it opened a window for us here. And this one looks a little different. Um, you can see on here, you, you have a, a Garmin GPS Map 78 uh, drive here. Um, there's, some, there's a couple folders and some unique files to the GPS unit. But if you drill down in the Garmin folder here, you can see several other, other folders. Um, the one that we're in, interested in on this make and model is the Maps folder. Now again, with these different makes and models, you're going to find you're going to have to you know find out what your GPS unit needs. So it's going to either need a folder called Maps, uh, Garmin, or potentially just Map in some cases. So typically these sit at the root level of the of the uh, expandable memory, but in this case we're using the the uh, internal memory for the 78 model here. And again, going back to the Garmin folder, you can see all the different files with the waypoints and things like that, some of the base maps that come with it. So again, we're going to navigate into the maps folder. And now you can see I already have some loaded, but we have several different uh, base maps here from lakes, lands. Um, we have counties, cities, roads, et cetera. Um, going back to the website, if we go to the map section again. I think I may have closed that. And we go to the Garmin GPS maps. This example is one of the, as you can see, removable flash memory has ability to utilize maps, utilize multiple maps. And that's kind of, it didn't take that compiled map that we had before with that gmap sup.img file. So when we hit get it on here and we can download this file, Again, it's going to sit similar to the last one. It's going to give you one file, one zip file that contains all those individual maps. And when I hit open here, it's going to download it and you should see it shortly. And as you see, I downloaded it, it opened up the window here, and I have several different individual base maps here. And in this case, I'm going to put all of them on there. So you can, different ways to copy all these files, you can highlight them all or individually select them. Copy, and again, we're gonna navigate back to our GPS unit that we just plugged in. And again, I'm on the Garmin 78. I'm in the Garmin folder and then the subfolder of that called Maps. And simply, simply just gonna right click and hit paste. And similar to the other one, I'm overwriting the existing files from either the, the previous year or um, if this were new, you would just create that Garmin or that Maps folder and paste those files in there. Okay, now those have been replaced on the GPS unit, and we can close out of here. And all these maps should be updated, ready to go. This is again, this is very similar to the Nubi um, models. Uh, again, we were in this case we were installing to the local local device, so you didn't need a little micro SD card. However, they do have them. You can go through the same process in the other one as well as we did with the, with the 76 model um, by just copying those into a folder called Garmin Map or Maps again. So with the different makes and models, I would in just encourage you to, you know, if you're not, not certain where your GPS unit fits, is the just process of elimination. Um, give it a shot and see what, uh, what uh, method would work for you. So these... Uh, Again, these files are just simply copying and pasting off the website, and, and I would, they're specifically made for Garmin GPS units. So, 
Uh, the third option, if we go back to the Garmin GPS maps, and I don't have one here to show you that example, but um, it should be fairly straightforward. This one is the same thing. It's, uh, it's for quite older models. I think this may work on some of the black and white GPS units and, um, and some of those that do not have uh, external memory. But it's, uh, it's, again, it's a zip file. When you pull that file out, there's an executable in there. It's, uh, what that is is a file.exe. When you plug in your GPS unit, simply all you have to do is plug in your GPS unit, connect that device, and just click on the file, and it will do all the installation for you. So um, there are some things to make sure if, you're, if you have your own custom maps or some other maps you've loaded, this overwrites that process. So we encourage you to look a little further into what you have loaded on your GPS. So. And that's it for the, for the steps to kind of go through to load the base maps.